Hello, this is Scott with Cochrane Tech Services. This video is about adding a logo or some custom branding to your login through a web browser to your Niagara station. Today I'm running a Vicon branded version of Workplace. And in that Workplace, I'm running a Niagara station named Web Logo. So if I were to currently log in through a web browser to that station, this is what I would see. So how we go about fixing that, and anytime we want to go take modifications to a running station, we should have a station copy or at least a backup. So under my local hosts where that Niagara station is running, I'm gonna go to that station copier and I'm gonna take a known good copy. So I have a copy of the station the way it sits. From my daemon home, I'm gonna make a copy to my user home. I'll highlight that web logo station and I'm gonna even append this name, modify this name to be web logo original so I know it's a known good. And I'm going to put a timestamp for today on it. I'll click next. Every file, every time. Next, and then finish. I'll let this copy to my local host, my user home. Close window. Now, I'm going to make another copy, and this is going to be the copy that we modify. So we have a known good, but now we want a copy that we can modify offline. Copy another station over. I'm going to call this one underscore modified. Click next every file every time click next and then finish so this is the one that i'm going to modify offline we know this is in our user home i can go underneath my file system of my local host under my file system i have my user home under my user homes a stations folder and the two station folders that i just copied over there's the original we don't want to touch that here's our web logo modified this is the one that we're going to modify so I'm going to right click that modified folder and I'm going to make another folder underneath it. So I just right clicked, hover over new, make a new folder. And I'm going to call this public. I'll click OK. And under this new public folder is where I'm going to drop the logo that I want. The logo that I want is somewhere in my C drive. So I'm going to go find that. I'm going to right click it and copy it. Remember, I'm doing this all in Niagara. I don't have to be outside of Niagara to do this. I'm going to collapse my C drive. Right click that public folder I just made and paste that logo in it. All right, we're not done. Now the logo's there, now we have to call an org to that. So under that config.bog, which is our offline station, I need to go to the web service. Anytime I say something service, figure it's gonna be underneath our services container. Underneath that services container, I have a web service. In the bottom of our web service, in the AX property view, the last component is a user data storage. We're going to add a slot to this web service from our AX slot sheet view, and we're going to add an order that's going to get dropped to the bottom of that AX property sheet. I'll right click somewhere in my AX slot sheet, and I'm going to add a slot. I'm going to rename this slot to logo, and the type spec needs to be Baja. Type is Baja. Specifically, I want an ORD from that Baja module. I don't need to configure any config flags, so I'll just click OK. And if I go back to that AX property sheet view, we'll see that new component named logo. What I want is a file. So I'll type file colon, two carats. We're going to get out of our station. The folder we want is public put a forward slash in the name of the file that we're looking for. The name of the file is ctsv3.png. If you take a look at my nav tree, there it is as well. That looks right, I'll click save. Now we've changed this bog file offline. So don't forget to hit the save bog file in toolbar. I'll save that bog file. I can collapse my modified web logo station folder. Collapse that config as well. It'll even collapse my user home. I don't need to be in it anymore. Where I need to be is back in that station copier, and I'm going to copy over this modified station back to my daemon home and run that station. So here's my modified one. I'm going to click that copy right arrow to bring it to the daemon home. I'm going to match the names here just so it says web logo. This is only changing the name of the station in the daemon home on the right hand side, not the user home. I'll click next, copy every file every time. That's really important. Every file, every time, click next. 
I'll delete the existing, that's fine. And I'm going to start it after install. Click next again and finish. As soon as this is done copying, I'm going to open up this application director. As soon as that station is running, I'm going to be able to see what that looks like through our web browser. 2,000 years later. Oh, well, that was pretty quick. That's running again. I'm going to open up my Google Chrome here. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash local host. And there's my logo. There it is. So hopefully this was a decent guide for you guys. You were able to follow along. I realize that I'm talking a little bit quickly. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Thank you so much and great job.